Everyone, welcome to the show. So I have more shady election news for you guys, meaning, you know, stuff that's going on that just is not right, that's illegal, that is just, you know, crazy, all tied to the election. So, um, and as we anticipated, MAGA is already making threats online, talking about civil war, they're threatening sabotage. And some are leaving threatening notes for Democrats down in Texas. So I'm going to explain all of that. Um, I also have a funny and ironic story about a MAGA woman who basically got hit with some election karma. So let's talk about her story first. Uh, the t Texas woman is named Mary Howard Ellie. She is a big time Trump supporter. She wants Trump to build the wall. She's totally on board with his mass deportation plan. But the anti-immigrant hysteria basically came back to bite her in the ass because Texas Governor Greg Abbott, you may have heard this, decided a while back that the voter rolls should be purged. They wanted to get rid of anybody that they believed was an illegal resident who he claimed was voting in our elections. Okay, Illegal, not allowed in our country. There's all kinds of checks and balances to make sure that that doesn't happen. But, you know, this is, again, the hysteria that the right is pushing. So Texas removed thousands of people from their voter rolls. And guess what? Howard Ellie was one of them. I, apparently, she didn't pay attention. She got a letter in the mail back in January, and it warned her, you have 30 days to respond and you you know you need to prove that you're an american citizen or we're going to kick you off the, the voter roll the letter said that she was flagged by the authorities because she allegedly responded to a jury summons and checked off the box saying that she wasn't a u.s citizen now howard ellie was just incensed when she found out about all this because she is a retired u.s government employee and she claims she never checked that box on the jury summons. Long story short, Howard Ellie had to jump through all kinds of hoops to try to get back on the registration or get her registration reinstated. And in the end, a news organization had to intervene because they just, the, the authorities, the voting, you know, election authorities, we're like, no, it's too late. Sorry, you can't. You can't vote this year. So she had to get a news organization involved, and they had to explain to the Texas local elections office how their own laws work. <laughs> that if you are kicked off and it's an erroneous, you know, decision, there's no basis for it. You are an American citizen. You can be immediately put back on. So. She did get put back on the voting rolls, but she came very close to losing her ability to vote for the apricot antichrist this year, all because of the Republicans Hispanic panic. That is what I'm now calling it. Um, so, you know, that that would have been such sweet karma. <laughs> and speaking of Texas and their government's incompetence, they refuse to implement online voter registration but they're apparently losing paper applications. So according to an investigation by a group called Vote Beat and, um, and a representative also from the League of Women Voters, this is in Austin, Texas, residents are continually reporting that their voter registration applications are just not being processed. But the election authorities are like, well, you know, sometimes things slip through the cracks. <laughs> yeah, how's that no state income tax working out for you down there? <laughs> you get what you pay for, guys. Just saying. Um, next is news about MAGA's online threats and their plans. So according to a report from the Department of Homeland Security, this was a September report, quote, some domestic violent extremists are reacting to the 2024 election season and prominent policy issues by engaging in illegal preparatory or violent activity that they link to the narrative of an impending civil war. 
raising the risk of violence against government targets and ideological opponents. And you guys are not going to be surprised to hear these motivating factors that they're referring to. Yeah, these are all the lies being told by Trump and his allies. So they cited, quote, perceptions of election fraud and illegal immigration. Those are the two motivating factors. Like I said, Hispanic panic and then his lies about, you know, stop the steal, election fraud, BS fairy tales. So one of these MAGA nuts wrote on social media, apparently, or somewhere, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what platform, that granting citizenship to migrants would justify murder. This person wrote, quote, Biden does that executive order. We shoot all Democrat officials and the supporting federal agents. So they're, they're flat out saying, like, you give any migrants the ability to become an American, you know, you make them an American citizen, and we're going to shoot you. <laughs> okay, uh, but, you know, they're not crazy. And the DHS report warned that it might be difficult to track some of these people and their plans because a lot of them now, after January 6th especially, they're now using encrypted messaging apps. So they're steering clear of the typical online platforms. So again, that was a, a September report. And then earlier this month in October, DHS and the FBI issued a joint bulletin and it warns that extremists, quote, pose a threat of violence to a range of targets directly and indirectly associated with elections through at least the presidential inauguration. And in a bulletin published this week, DHS said other people, quote, have stated their intent online to intimidate voters or election staff through surveillance of election infrastructure or personnel including by armed individuals. Some of these online users have encouraged violence against ideological opponents related to the use of mail-in voting, while others promoted methods of sabotaging ballot drop boxes. Hmm. Other individuals are using online forums to call for violence against local election officials in response to allegations of fraud. So, yeah, that's interesting, huh? Since we just this week had people blowing up and setting fires in ballot drop boxes. And think about it. We have never had this before. None of this has happened before. I mentioned in another video today that the Republicans, at least one Republican, is blaming the left for the political violence, for the political rhetoric and how fraught this time is in our political life. That we on the left are the ones who are inciting this crap. No, we never had this problem. We never had armed people standing outside of ballot drop boxes and voting facilities like we did in 2020, I'll remind you, until Trump came along, until he decided to lie to his sheep, to his cult members, and tell them that the election was stolen. So, yeah, I, I don't want to hear a damn thing I don't want to hear the both sides BS. I don't want to hear about how the far right and the far left are so much alike. No, nobody on the far left is lying to their supporters and ginning up violence. Just not happening. Um, so anyway, like I said, it, this is what Donald Trump has done to our country. And if he wins next week, it, it's going to get even worse because these lunatics will definitely feel invincible they will feel like, you know, they can get away with anything. Literal murder, I would I would even say. Especially if he pardons the January 6th insurrectionists. 
So on that bit of happy news, um, police in San Marcos, Texas, you know, where the Biden bus terrorism incident went down, they are investigating threatening flyers being left on Harris campaign signs. So I, I'm sure that they're really going to take it seriously and they really care because, you know, we saw how they handled that whole fiasco in October of 2020. Um, so here's a copy of the flyer for, for anybody who's listening on the podcast. The flyers say, quote, greetings, you, in all caps, have been identified and are now in our national database of miscreant Harris supporters, either by social interactions with your neighbors who are on our investigations team or by yard signs or vehicle bumper stickers. Rather than the hangman's noose of the old days, you are guaranteed that once the magnificent Donald Trump assumes the presidency again, you will be IRS audited, going all the way back to your very first tax return. And at minimum, four years of painful misery and attorney's fees. Sincerely, the Grand Dragon of Trump Clan, number 124, San Marcos, Texas. So this is obviously a form of domestic terrorism and obviously election interference. But here's what confuses me about this. Aren't you more likely to vote for Kamala Harris after receiving a letter like this? I mean, think about it. If Trump loses, then there's no threat, right? You're not going to be audited. You're not going to be, you know, maybe stalked or, or get in trouble or have any issues. So wouldn't you even more so want Kamala Harris to win? I mean, obviously, the, the point is, you know, intimidating people, terrorizing people, letting them know we're watching you, you know, you're on a list, you're, you're in danger. I mean, these people are terrorists. They are flat out terrorists. We need to start calling tr Trump supporters that. I'm sorry. And, you know, it, you may say, oh, you can't lump everybody together. Well, if you don't want to be lumped together, like I said yesterday, if you don't want to be called a racist, maybe start ha stop hanging out with racists. If you don't want to be called a domestic terrorist, stop hanging out with domestic terrorists. But these are the people who are supporting Trump. You have someone literally saying they're from the Klan and they are a Trump supporter. So I, I don't know about Trump supporters who, you know, may or may not disagree with that, but I wouldn't want to be associated with anyone or any group that is involved with the, the KKK. I'd be like, mm, no, I'm out. Not my thing and don't want to be a part of it. Don't want to be associated with it in any way. But they stick around. They're like, yeah, cool. They're part of our clan. They're, they're part of our group. They're part of MAGA. You know, more votes for us, more votes for Trump. We're cool with it. But again, how is this going to get, is this, it, do they think that this is going to get someone to vote for Trump instead of Harris? Because it makes no sense. But I guess, you know, it's not like KKK members are exactly intelligent. So there you go. Anyway, I'll let you know if I hear any more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.